Poor your health, long-term stress can lead to headaches, stomach disorders, and depression, and in some cases, stroke and heart disease. This is National Stress Awareness Month, and our health expert, Karen Owak, is here with some ways to help you cope better with life's daily challenges. And Karen, what has been an off-the-charts year of stress for a lot of people? It sure has, hasn't it? Yes, it has. So there are yeah, go ahead. Go I'm ahead. sorry. Go ahead. Oh, so there are two kinds of stress. There is actually good stress, which we call you stress, and that's the kind of stress that actually energizes you. It keeps you on your toes and it propels you to get things done. And that's a good stress. You know, kind of like think of planning a vacation. That could be a good stress. Ah, Whereas okay. There's also, but it also depends on how someone views that particular situation. Some people might think of planning a vacation as bad stress because <laughs> they're thinking about all the things that they have to do before they leave for yes. their trip. So it all has to do with perception. You know, Karen, a couple things. First of all, I've never heard of good stress before, so uh, <laughs> we'll, talk, we'll talk a bit about that. And secondly, as the one who plans the vacations for the family, I know all about that stress uh, where you're worried about is the hotel taken care of? What about the airfare and all, all these different things? So what are some tips that you have on how we can make that stress that we're feeling positive? So first, be realistic. You know, a lot of people worry about things that are not even going to happen, that are not even yeah. real. Yeah. You know, they're thinking in the future, what if this happens? What if this happens? And things like that just never uh, materialize. You're really and projecting so, forward, aren't you, to something that may not happen? Yes, and we've talked about this before, about staying in the present right. and not worrying about the future or the past. And, and this is a great example of when not to do that. You also want to have a positive attitude. Yes, put a positive spin on life. And, and because, you know, life's challenges, they're, they could be pretty negative, but if you look at them in a positive light uh -huh. and, and give yourself a pep talk, you know, things could be worse, you know, and things happen for a reason, and think of life that way, you know, supposing you lost your job, yes, that could be a bad stress, which we call distress, but if you look at it from a positive point of view, you could say, well, this is a great catalyst. It's mm -hmm. a, a great opportunity for me to do something different, something that maybe I really like to do. You know, I've heard that from so many people who've lost a job and then months later they say, you know, that in retrospect was the best thing that happened to me for a variety of, re variety of reasons. Number one is it got me up and moving again and, and, and moving in that yeah. direction. I finally did something I had meant to be doing for the past years or months. Absolutely. One door closes, but another yeah. door opens. This next uh, bullet point that you have sounds a lot like the serenity prayer. <laughs> well, accept things that you cannot change. Yeah. You know, you, you may have a toxic boss. You could be stuck in traffic. Those things you can't change. But you can change the way you respond to those situations. So you, if you're stuck in traffic, you can say, okay, I'm going to put in some books on, you know, listen to some books on tape, things that I haven't been able to do for a while. Right. But think of all those positive things, the things that you can do and not so much what you cannot do and change. This really comes back to what you said at the beginning, and that is it all is on your perception of what the mm -hmm. stressor might be. Exactly, exactly. That's what it comes down to. So you can, you can manage your stress much better if you change the way you interpret events. And you also have to have an action plan, I would think, right? Yes, and we kind of talked about this last week, and uh -huh. having a plan. A lot of people feel stressed because they feel like their life is going nowhere. So you have to have a plan and set up something that's very specific and have a goal. And just having a goal is going to make you feel better, that's like you're more empowered, you have more control over mm -hmm. your life. So set a plan and make, them, make those steps very small and doable. And the last bullet point that we want to talk about is uh, taking care of ourselves, taking care of uh, adding some healthy habits to our life. Yes, the exercise and nutrition. If you, those are the things that, and, and getting enough sleep too, those are the things that are going to energize you. And when you're energized, you're also going to feel more positive about life and about your the, the situations. So very important to uh, 
avoid a lot of those things we've always talked about, you know, the sugars and the salts and yeah. the fats and, and get the moderate intensity exercise in every day. So um, those are the things that are going to keep you healthy and happy. It's going to release those happy hormones, remember, the endorphins. <laughs> there we go. Well, well, speaking of happy hormones, I know that you have a very special birthday wish that you want to uh, put out there. Yes, we have a happy birthday to Sue Maeda. She is 100 years old. She wow. turned 100 on Friday. Oh, there she is. There she is. Yes, she's looking she's, great. Yes, born in 1921. She's from Tacoma, Washington, but she has been a, a resident of West Oakland for all these years. One of her keys to longevity, uh -huh. eating lots of vegetables, she said. Uh -huh. you know, she okay. grew her own. And then she walked everywhere, everywhere she went she walked so another great great reason to you know follow the healthy healthy habit plan I love the fact that in her 80s she would walk from West Oakland to University Avenue to help out the seniors at a senior center yes. that's fantastic isn't that amazing I love isn't that. that amazing oh that's First, great that, that distance that she walked but the the whole idea that her perception of her age exactly was, is very which, telling. I, which I think is another great uh, great tip here to uh, help us deal with stress is is just to recognize that age is just a number Karen, thank you so much. We'll see you next weekend. You're welcome. All right. Bye-bye. We'll be right back.